On this episode of Operation Reorganization, we have two stories. One is Leslie Christia. Her designer, Tina, really enjoyed this job. She did a master closet and a home office. The home office was a bit challenging, but that's what made it fun for Tina. Leslie wanted her to incorporate in the design a vintage sewing machine that her mother owned. So Tina did her magic and worked around that piece because that's what we can do being custom. Absolutely. And the second story, of course, is my client, Tracy Haddock, who we've known since 2011 mm -hmm. and who has worked in all of the Homerama houses with me at the front door. Right. And she gets to see all of our product every year that we put in the house. And this year she came to me and said, hey, I would really like to do a wall unit in my house. So she came to me with a preliminary design and we tweaked it. We installed it a couple months ago and she is thrilled with it. And I'm thrilled with the way it turned out. That's great. Tracy's lovely and she's wanted Closet Factory product yes, for years. She has, so it turned out great. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm also excited about the pro tips that we have on this episode. I love the pro tips. Yeah, so sit back and enjoy. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'm a real estate agent as well as a relationship and communication specialist. The military brought my husband and I both to Hampton Roads. We actually met here. I'm from the Northeast. He's from the Midwest and we met here. So we've been here for quite a while. Our home is fairly simple. It's not huge. It's about 2,700 square feet. We do have five bedrooms. Uh, the children are now gone, so we utilize those bedrooms for other things. Uh, we've got a man cave and I have my home office and we still have a guest room. And um, we have have an open concept because we love to have guests over and we just kind of huddle around the bar and, you know, have a glass of wine or some food. And then my favorite place in the entire house is my backyard. When the weather is just right, you can find me out there any day. We first heard of Closet Factory from a friend and whenever we would talk about getting our closet done, we just knew we were going with Closet Factory. We knew we weren't calling anyone else. Tina was great to work with. She came over, she took one look at our closet, took some measurements, and next thing I knew, we were on a Zoom call and just going over her design and there really wasn't anything that I wanted to change. Even during the pandemic, the process was completely seamless. There were no hiccups at all, and I enjoyed the entire process. One of the things we knew that we really needed was space for shoes. <laughs> we had boxes and boxes of shoes, and it really made the space look cluttered. So when Tina designed an entire shoe wall, that just, man, it just freed up so much space that it allowed for us to organize everything else even much better. Another thing that helped us free some space was the fact that I had a jewelry chest in the closet. Well, Tina came up with an idea to have slats on one empty wall where we weren't doing anything there. And so now I literally have a lot of my jewelry just hanging very neatly on one wall in the closet. And that's one of my favorite parts about the closet. What was nice about working with Closet Factory was the fact that even though we fully love the design, once the installation is complete, you may realize that you might want a few extras and it's no problem for them to add them. So even though everything was great, there were no issues, there were no mistakes, we just wanted some more. What we added was a valet for me to just have an extra space to hang an outfit that I might be preparing for a special event and a place to hang my belt. And then a surprise for my husband, he doesn't even know yet, that I also added a space for him to hang his ties. Closet Factory more than met our needs. We actually had two closets done. 
So they didn't just do a great job in our master closet, but they also did a little bit more for us in another closet. I have already recommended Closet Factory to four of my friends. Um, I told them that if you want a closet, Closet Factory is where you need to go. I would probably do a lot more in this house, starting with the pantry, another closet, you name it, because I just love organization and I love Closet Factory's work. Hi, I'm Tina Ormsby, design consultant with Closet Factory. I wanted to talk to you today about hanging against a shelving area. Closet Factory, one of our rules that we have is we never do hanging into hanging. And the reason for that is, is if you have an outfit or a dress and that's hanging this way, it would come out at a minimal of 24 inches. It would block these clothes that are existing here and you would not be able to fully access them. So what we do at Closet Factory is we hang our shelves starting at 12 inches and we also hang our rods starting at a 12 inch base area. With that being said, with the clothes from shoulder to shoulder, when you have clothes that are hanging, our, we have a 24 inch minimal area that we do to accompany blazers and shirts. So that way you have full access without it hitting your shelving area. You can easily get back there and maneuver. And that is the pro tip today. All right, we're here back at the Cristea house. And uh, you see, this is the closet that I'd put in a few weeks ago. This is a really nice one. It's a really good use of the shape of the walls. And even in this case, we were able to bring it 12 inches from the ceiling. So that way they're able to use the height of the room more effectively and not to mention the color. I really like the color of the laminate that they chose. And mainly we're here today to install three new accessories that they ordered. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. And that's the tie rack. Yeah, you know, the nice thing about these old racks is, depending on if I'm putting it on the left or the right, it gives you a choice you know, on which way it's going to be installed. So if I find out that's going on here, here's where I put the end cap. All right, and that's one for the belts. Next one is the ballet rod. That's the ballet run. All right, and that wraps it right there. Uh, three quick additions for this closet. And now she has uh, accessories that only she can hang, belts, ties, or anything else. See, and that's the great thing about the closet factory is even after the job is finished, you can still update or change anything around that's in the closet or anything with the design. Uh, 
I'm Tracy Haddock and we are at my home and I'm going to show you a wonderful unit that the Closet Factory did for me. i um, been wanting to do it for a while now and finally was able to get it done. Um, it turned out great and I'm so excited with it. We moved here when my kids were 7 and 11. They are now 31 and 35. <laughs> it's a ranch home. It was built in 74. Actually, my cousin, her husband built it. It's four bedrooms. Um, upstairs has a in-law suite. I just love it. You know, we're only the second family who's lived here and it's just, it's home, you know, it's, it's going to be home for forever. The past uh, two or three years, I've really got more into wanting have, to have something done in my home. The living room was a room that like I felt was just empty space. We didn't go in there, we didn't use it. We just kind of kept the doors closed. And I just had this big, huge wall that I just wanted something there to store all my things in. So we chose that room and now it feels like a useful room. Uh, I first met Jeff, um, Homerama 2001. I hadn't really heard of the Closet Factory before. Um, he was working for the same builder that I worked for and I'd just seen all the products that they had, um, closets and pantries and bookshelves and just so many things that they can do. And so I um, had him to come out and we drew up something and tweaked it here and there. And um, so the beginning of the year, they came out and put my unit in. My husband has this little man cave, so I wanted my space to display my books and my knickknacks and things like that. We kind of based it off the cabinet from last year's Homerama. When I went to the showroom, um, he gave me some samples because I told him, I said, my house is older, it has darker wood. So I brought some samples home, um, just kind of compared it to the floor and to the trim and took it back out there and said, okay, I think I want this one. And then the hardware, I just wanted something simple, just some little knobs, um, nothing fancy. When they came to measure, um, we had can lighting that was already there, so we had to take that into consideration. Um, they took off the crown molding and moved that out to the top of the cabinet. Um, he put me in some beautiful glass doors, and uh, I wanted storage at the bottom, but I wanted doors, so those things that you don't want seen. And so they put, I have like eight doors at the bottom. Um, they put grommets in the top because I had some electrical uh, sockets behind there and I wanted to plug in my things like lighthouses and my little things that I like to collect and so they put that in for me um, and everything that I wanted done they did. Everything was uh, it's all in one place now it's um, I feel more organized for sure and that's that's their job you know organization. People that have come in since we had it put in that's really the first thing I show them look at my shelves my, my whole wall unit and then of course, you know, well, who did it? A closet factory. I would say if you would like to have anything done to your home, um, whether it be a closet or pantry or whatever, that the closet factory is definitely who you should call. And you know, they'll definitely work with you um, on prices and product and you know, whatever you want to have put in. Hey guys, welcome to the Haddock Residence. Um, I met Tracy in 2011 at Homerama and I've seen her every year since then that we built a house in Homerama and her and I always work the door together at the show. And typically that's where we have our, our wall unit at Homerama that showcases uh, bookshelves or something very similar to what you see here. And for years, Tracy has been saying that she wanted to um, have one built in her house. And so originally she had a designer come out and look at this space. And um, I don't think that worked out. The design wasn't what she wanted. So she came to me this year and we talked about it and came up with a different design, which you can see here, which I think turned out fantastic. It's two different depths. The lower unit is about 24 inches deep and the upper unit is 14 inches deep and it houses all of her books and her knickknacks. It's a wood grain color that matches the wood in the house, the crown molding. Um, we actually tied in our crown molding to the crown molding that's up here now. We have glass doors on the top of the unit which turned out really nice. The shelves are required holes, so there's only three holes per shelf, so there's not a lot of holes for you to see on the panels. We have raised panel doors across the bottom, as you can see down here, which she's got a lot of books and a lot of storage needs. So this turned out really nice. We trimmed it out at the bottom to match the trim that is already existing. We also have grommets on each end of the unit where she can plug in and 
accessor outlets on the bottom. And um, I just think it turned out to be fantastic. I couldn't be happier with it myself. I know Tracy's happy with it. She sent me several pictures. She posted it on Facebook. It got a ton of likes. Uh, so it just turned out really fantastic. And I really appreciate the fact that she let us do the work for her. Today I'm here at Leslie's house and we are going to do two rooms. One of the largest challenges that I had with Leslie's main closet is she has two 45 degree angle walls. Traditionally, when you're building into um, a wall space and you're trying to connect two sets of shelving area, you have to come off five inches of each shelf in order to have the corners meet. That would be the biggest challenge as well as the paneled area where her husband's shoes are, st are stored. In the office space area, the biggest challenge in that was she has her great grandmother's sewing machine and we wanted to make it easily to slide in and out without any damaging because it is a family heirloom. So with Leslie's closet, upon completion of both of her designs, she decided that we had a little more room to add. So she wanted to add an additional valet rod, a tie rack, and a belt pull. Going forward, she, if she needs any additional shelving or rods, we can actually uh, order the rods and we can also manufacture the shelving, which we do right in the back of the Closet Factory showroom area. That's where we manufacture all of our items. With Closet Factory, you're never done designing. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Upon entry, we have this beautiful handy wall and Leslie decided to put her accessories on here for her jewelry. She didn't have anywhere to put that before. I think this is a great utilization for this space. We use the top and the bottom, so she still had full access to her light. This handy wall is beautiful. Leslie picked Pacaya, which is a nice brown, soft green and we actually happen to match her handy wall so it accompanies it as opposed to using black or gray or another color. She has three sections, one, two, three. Each section is the same width and the same depth. The bonus and the advantage to that is Leslie is able to take a hanging rod and she's able to switch it with her shelving. Her closet is perfect for the time being, but as time and fashion changes, she may not want to wear as many pants. She may want to start wearing long dresses uh, and she may want to change her whole closet up. So that's the advantage to having three sections that are interchangeable. Another thing that I'd like to point out is Leslie's shoe area. Having Leslie's shoe area is also, it's all interchangeable. And one thing that I'd like to point out is that Leslie has shoe fences. We put shoe fences on the top two and we put shoe fences on the bottom two areas. The reason that we did that is so when Leslie's walking into the closet, she's easily able to see the shoes at the top. That's a beautiful, and it also displays it beautifully. She has chosen to get additional accessories in order to accommodate her areas. She has chosen first a belt rack. You can also use it for scarves and necklaces. It is a three pull slide. It slides right in, so you would never know that she has belts. She also has a scarf rack, which as you can see, it is hidden. It slides right in. And she also has a valet rod. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is the other side of Leslie's closet, which is her husband's closet. These two sections that we have are also the same width and the same depth. She also wanted a place for him to have his shoes and so he could also have his folding. She also purchased a tie rack, so he's gonna be very surprised when he gets home. It's a hidden tie rack and a valet rod at the top. And on the last note, since these shelves are adjustable, Leslie and her husband will still have full access to this panel in the future by adjusting the shelves. 
and full access. So let's go take a look at our next space. Come on. So now we are in Leslie's office area. One thing that I wanted to do with her design is since this is her desk area, she wanted a place for her bookshelves. She wanted a place to store additional items. And one classic thing that Leslie had was her great grandmother's sewing machine. So we wanted to allot a space specifically for her great grandmother's sewing machine to fit in. This turned out beautifully. We have, again, three sections, interchangeable. They're adjustable shelves and rods. She has a place to store and display her purses. She also has hanging area for his and hers and additional sh shelving and hanging over here. I love this space very much. I hope Leslie enjoys it too. And I hope she gets many, many more years out of this design. On to the next project. So that's it for another episode of Operation Reorganization. It was a great episode. The only way we can pull off these designs one after another after another is because we have such a great team. Designers, production, installers, and you. And you. <laughs> so thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoy the show.